Hello guys, on this tutorial I'm going to show you how to run my SQL on command line. Um, sometimes you may need to run uh, my SQL command line because you have more uh, full control of your uh, SQL queries and if you want to create database or delete database by using the uh, command line. So what we need here, we need uh, uh, we need a, a ZAM you need to download this ZAM which comes with the module Apache SQL and uh, and uh, when you have this one then you need a CMD so you just have to uh, get CMD from your machine and uh, in case if you don't have this ZAM installed on your machine then uh, you can visit their website which is apachefriends.org and uh, depending on your operating system you can download the, uh, the the program from this site and uh, for my case I'm using Windows so I have installed this ZAM on my machine and right now I'm going to show you where the ZAM is installed on my machine and uh, if you navigate to my uh, to C drive and right here I have ZAM and ZAM I have my SQL here and this is a bin folder and uh, uh, now we need to check if we can run the my SQL on uh, my SQL on command line so if you type my S SQL and uh, it seems we can't write uh, we can't run my SQL on command line because uh, the query just say that it's not recognized as an internal or external command so we need to fix this problem and uh, this is something to do with your system variables so we have to uh, to go to command uh, control panel in your, in your machine and uh, uh, system and you have advanced the system settings and you can get to this uh, to this advanced system setting uh, through different ways so you can either um, uh, can go to your C drive uh, you can see my this PC and right click properties and you can see I'm here so you click and you go to um, environment variables right there and also you can see here is where the system variables are, are set so um, if you look at the main path this is our main path and edit and you look here you can see I have Catalina home and uh, probably this is uh, Java Java but we can't see my SQL home so I have to set that one so uh, you just have to click new and uh, this is how you uh, you set a system variable so we need a variable name so variable name is going to be depends on whatever you like so you can type uh, my s sql sql underscore home it's good practice to use the calculators to type the variable names and uh, the variable value is where the MySQL is installed so if you look at my machine here I showed you that this is the the path where my SQL is installed so I'm going to copy this uh, copy and then I paste it here so but now I'm going to remove the uh, this bin and uh, and okay and if you scroll down here uh, we scroll down here or up here we can see that my SQL home is installed here so now we need to set this uh, variable to, to, to the main path which is this one so you edit and you can see the way other variable are set so what we have to do here is we can we have to type first we start with semicolon semicolon 
and then uh, percentage so you can have two percentages then in the middle of percentages we have to type uh, mysql underscore home slash uh, slash this bin here because I just copied only this but I, I removed bin so I have to put the, uh, the backslash then bin with with uh, small small letters bin and then okay and then okay and then okay and now let's see we have to restart the, the CMD and type CMD and uh, we have it here and let's try my SQL and let's see okay now we get another error which is different from the one we got earlier and say I can't connect to my SQL server on localhost so we need to go back to this ZAM because our server is not running then we start the Apache and uh, start my SQL and see for some reason this Apache is not it's not going up and there's an error that is shutting down unexpectedly so uh, sometimes I know what's the problem so if I look at my service there is one of these service here is using the port 80 so I have to scroll down here and look at uh, and in most case uh, VMware host normally use the port 8 so I just have to end the task and uh, close and start the server again and you can see now the server is uh, uh, this port is now used by Apache so if I try again here my SQL and you can see my SQL it has accepted so uh, what I have to do now uh, I need to uh, to exit now that we know my SQL is working I exit and now I need to navigate through this command line to and this uh, this uh, mysql to this bin so the way you do it you just have to write cmd a uh, cd that dash dash and you go back again cd dash dash and now you are on the c drive and you type dir which is directory and now we see all our directory in this C directory so now I'm going to ZAM folder so I have type CD ZAM and if you uh, yes if you type that one and enter and you type DR again you see what's inside the, the ZAM and now we are going to, um, to my SQL so CD my SQL directory then you can see we have this bin folder here so I'm changing that bin now and I can look at what is inside by using direct command and here you can see that I have these files that ends with the exe, exe file here and now I need to connect to the my my database so what I have to do I have to type my SQL uh, user is root by default um, uh, password uh, I don't have password and the host host is local host local host or you can use um, 127007 uh, IP address and uh, enter and ask me for password okay now I realize that I don't have password and access denied because there is um, a password set no so what I have to do I go back to this program and I click admin 
aha okay now here again i see i have problem which is uh, i have got the error which is cannot connect to uh, the invert settings so what i have to do again i have to go to where the we have installed this zam zam and down here let's search for php my admin and uh, and uh, look for this config open with notepad and here we scroll down and we look at the true and uh, let me try to type the password here if I remember my password maybe it was password and uh, and uh, let's see yeah so we got inside here but uh, here if I try I try with password now then I'll get inside but I'll have to show you how to disable the password go to user and um, go to um, uh, localhost and let's see change the password and password yes put no password and go and we see if I repeat this command again and now I get inside because I removed the password and uh, now I'm going to show you how to create a, a password through command line so first we need to show databases databases and we can see these are number of da databases I have on my uh, on my SQL and now I'm going to create a database one database let's say create a database uh, my database enter and you can see query okay one row affected so now I'm going to use that database use uh, my uh, database so now it's changed to my database I can create a table or I can drop the database now drop database my database and now that database is deleted so thank you guys for this tutorial and next tutorial maybe I'm going to talk more about the uh, how to create tables how to uh, select uh, data from the data, uh, database and uh, guys remember to like subscribe and share the video thank you very much and bye bye